Like, like the weird. drums start playing, like yeah. African <laughs> drums and shit. <laughs> That's why you know, dick is here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so John was just telling us a story about some girl on Barcelos that said, uh, when she get nervous, when she gets nervous, she comes. <laughs> so how did he transition right into? I know because I want to fucking chomping at the bit. Hold on, because I want to. Because I, I, I honestly, I, I met. What she say that she, every time she gets nervous, she she said. So the 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 thing was, you had to tell like a story, an interesting story, and she, her, you know, guys were telling stories about like going and seeing hookers and other shit. And her story was like it was so short, but it, you know, the the punchline was or punchline or like the climax was, she realize that every time she has like a panic attack or she gets anxiety she comes Oof. she's lying that no that um, could, she's you, lying. could you imagine <laughs> so my girl puts me in a spot where were you ha, ha. i just Bro, saw, i just every, saw coming every time you have an anxiety right attack you come i'd be fucking blowing loads all day long oh, all day long all day long bro all day long bro can you i'd imagine? have to wear a fucking diaper <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? So, yo, do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Uh, this is a good transition. Do you have wet dreams? I've never had a wet dream. Never. I don't think so. Me Kurt, neither. I think I've had one. We're married. I think, That's I think me neither, bro. It's you, so funny that you say that, bro. Because I was gonna put that as a topic to talk really? about. Really? Yeah, I've never had one of those. I never. Had, well, this is embarrassing. Well, how old were you? I have wet dreams now, all the time. Bro, I was, listen to me. It must I was be a so, low tea thing. No, no. <laughs> So listen, so I was You're talking all your tea out listen, overnight. I was talking to my boy. I'm talking to my boy at work, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, because he, I'm like, you have wet dreams. He's like, bro, those are the worst. And we we're talking about it. I'm like, he's like, he's like, but I haven't had it since I was like 15. And I'm like, oh, uh. he's like, he's like, he's like, when's the last time you had it? And I'm like, yesterday. I don't even remember <laughs> last night, maybe. You know what I mean, bro? And what's so fucked up is like, if you never had a wet dream, like it's disgusting because like you're halfway. Sleeping, you're it's like two in the morning, and you're like, ah, and then and then you kind of like wake up and you're like, oh shit, it's I've never had a wet dream. I'm, I'm creamy and ah, sticky, oh, and you're too tired to get wait, up. Wait, hold on, I don't, I don't understand. That, wait, like, you it's a full like a bust? full load, full load. See, what? Oh my god, load. it's been like it's been wet. I mean, you piss your pants. No, it's not Maybe I don't know. I don't know. And then <laughs> I think you should go get that checked morning, out. In the morning, I'm like, my wife's like, what's that? I'm like, nothing. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I was thinking about us. I swear. <laughs> Meanwhile, your fucking underwear is stuck to your leg. Dude, it's like, yeah, because <laughs> it's no, but so are you secretly like fucking humping the pillow? I don't know. Like, fucking... I don't know. And then my wife yells <laughs> at me for shit. Like ye yesterday, she was like, <laughs> we're in the bathroom. It was this morning, actually. No, it was yesterday. Last night before I went to bed. She's like, it's so crazy because like you were sleeping. And I always talk while I'm sleeping. And she's like, you said like you were going to beat up some bitch's boyfriend. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you were like, I'll fuck up your man. Like, I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, I love you, baby. And she, and bro, she scares me sometimes because she'll see, she'd be like, you were fucking, you were fucking hooking up with someone last night. And I'm like, what? You know? And she's like, yeah. She's like, and I'm like, what do I do? Like, just out of curiosity. And she's like, yo, you'll be like, no. And I'm what like, yo, fuck. And I'm like, for sure it was you, dude. Like, <laughs> Obviously, it's not fucking anybody else. What do you think I'm doing? You know, you've never, you've never had a sex dream. Yeah, of course, I've had sex dreams. Right, so you don't. But I don't wake up dreams? with a full load in my underwear. Loser, <laughs> loser, you don't finish in your sex dreams. What a loser! What a fucking God. loser you are, bro. Wow, I'm really embarrassed right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this is super fucking embarrassing. So here's the stats. So it's called experienced nocturnal emissions. <laughs> wow, that sounds oh super That's fucking. That's like a band name. It's like, yeah. do you admit ha at night? And it's like, yeah, I admit a lot. So once every three weeks for fifteen-year-old males, and then <laughs> <laughs> once every five and a half weeks for forty-year-old males. Oh, that's what's. But so you're common? saying every night, basically. No. Oh, I'm saying it's happened like as an adult. Oh, All and right. when it happens, it's. <laughs> It's, happened, it's never, messy. Never it's all, it's messy, bro. But like, how many have you had in your life? I'd say like three. Like on one hand. Oh, oh. no, I've had like two oh. dozen. Never. Really? I've never. Yeah. Had I don't like. It's never been enough to. It's in my memory. 
I mean, if I, had a, if I had a little jizz, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it got, like, mixed in with, like, some like, I, pee or you something. You never will. You, yeah, well, Jesse, Jesse's a lie. He wakes up, the shit's crusted to his pubes. He's like, nah, it must be something else. Must be something else going it's on down there. Crabs, definitely like, yeah. not semen. Or yeah. maybe I just forgot to clean up last night. I'm not entirely sure, but definitely <laughs> wasn't wet dream. Guys are, like, embarrassed to talk about it, though. I guarantee. I'm definitely not embarrassed to talk about it. No, I, no, not you. Uh, I'm saying in general, that guys. They have it? That they have wet dreams. Yeah. For sure. Because I've asked. I'm very open. I ask guys that work on time. Are you good with dreams? They're like, Shh. Let me see your dick. Nah, bro. And I'm like, lying bitch. I'm really wondering what I look like when I'm having a dream like that. Oh, you look like how you look in normal life. Oh, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, baby. I'm way more Do you wake up every dream. morning with a boner? Now I do, yeah. After the testosterone, I wake up fucking hard. <laughs> I wake up hard as a rock, baby. That shit sometimes, sometimes so hard. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know what's down. funny about that is that the morning boner is like the hardest you'll ever oh be. Oh my god! Like, you're, like, like you're never that hard. Dude. Like when it's time to. And go. I've had wifey never. like in the past be like, like you know, like jump on. In the morning, bro, I'm just not that guy. I try to get that as much get as I can. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. I don't, you know what's funny? I I, I read something the other day. <laughs> I am tired. I don't like to have sex. At this night is time. inappropriate. Nighttime? I don't like to have oh, sex I'm at night. I'm my horniest at night. No, well, I'm the opposite. I like it during the day, man. Random fucking, like, just in the, like, whenever. Nighttime's And I like the, the morning, too. To I like the morning, too. I'm not a big morning guy. Nighttime's the worst time to have it. But why? Statistically. That's statistically, why? yeah. Why? Because you're, you're not fucking. Because you're through a whole day, you're tired. Yeah. Like you're, not me, bro. I'm dogging yeah. around at night. I'm not. <laughs> morning <laughs> time? I'm like, mm, I can't do it in the morning. <laughs> bro, it takes me an hour to really, like, when I wake to get up. get into it? No, 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 I'm saying the morning. For uh, when I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, oh, I'm not guys? fully awake you until guys? like five. Yeah, I'm falling asleep <laughs> on the highway. I'm like, yeah, I don't I'm know. the guy on the highway you see just like doing this. We have a friend <laughs> for no reason. These guys go to bed at eight thirty. Uh, you go to bed at eight thirty. I'll go to bed at one o'clock in the morning and still wake up at five a.m. Fucking rock hard, ready to go. <laughs> 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 We're talking about just waking up. He's like, he's like, I get two hours of sleep, wake up with a big ass boner because I'm a man. <laughs> Nap time. Be a man. Waking have a hard on. Waking up in <laughs> Oh, good. No, I, no, I'm, I'm quick in the morning. I'm up and I'm, I'm ready to go. No, nah, well, I'm quick in getting but up. I'm just not awake. I'm fucking cross-eyed. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. But like what Kurt's saying, I'm not a real night owl though. Like unless like I'm partying or like I'm out and I'm doing something specific. Like I'm not one of those people that'll stay up watch TV fucking until I one have to in the take melatonin to go to sleep because if I don't take anything, you I'll won't fall asleep. I won't fall asleep. I fall asleep good. That's I probably why you have so many fucking wet dreams. You're loading yourself up with melatonin before you go in. No, you think the melatonin has something to do with it? I think it's bad for you. Melatonin? I think so. I take the gummies. Those are good. I think I've read <laughs> shit that it's not. <laughs> I'm like, it's like. But you're never going to be able to not use them now. No, you know? I, I have been using them. Why don't you just fucking rub one out before bed, you know? Jesse, I've tried everything. You think I'm fucking 32 years old. You think I haven't tried anything for my insomnia? I've tried it all. You know what I mean? I've tried it fucking all. Just... Oh, like that's what it is, insomnia? Like, yeah, that bad? It's, yeah, it's that bad. Dude, yeah, I yeah. fucking the second you put me in any sort of a fucking horizontal position, no. I'm sleeping. And the thing is, like, people, my wife would yell at me and be like, you have to just close your eyes. Go in the bed and close your eyes. I've tried that mm. for months at a time. And I'm like. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people I just can't go to sleep. That. Yeah. It's all the trauma. I had fucking. <laughs> last night. The last trauma night, of Last night I had a sleeping situation with my wife. Like, it was, I go to sleep at like 8.15 every night. My wife fucking screams at me. She's like. Last night, the dog shit in the hallway, Ooh. and we got a termite infested in the station. Well, that's I'm terrible. dead asleep. That's dead terrible. asleep. <sighs> dead asleep. Yeah, waking up to Call that. Call it termites. I don't yeah, fucking care. Waking up to that is miserable, bro. He's literally going to bed before his dog out right now. Without a doubt. Which is amazing. Without a doubt. No, but that's healthy. I get up at yeah. four. That's healthy. It is. I get up at four. I can't do that shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Semi-hard. A I little like bit. the morning little boner, bit though, it's like it's a hurtful one. Like, it does. So it hurts. hurts. Yeah, you have to bend it to pee. Oh, it's like fuck, man. It's you're putting a kink in it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> seriously, bro. You put a kink in your cock because you're bending it down, and then yeah, the pee, yeah. And it's then always the pee, like that push. The pee that doesn't push. come out, and yeah. it's like damn it. That's you why I just sit my ass down. Sit my I ass was down thinking the other day in. about like I wonder like when I push it down, like am I gonna hurt it? Am I gonna like <laughs> like like every morning At that four push? Years not, old, you're still worried. Not, and he's like he's like I'm gonna injure it. Like is it really true? If you don't use it, you lose it. What, your dick? <laughs> your dick? I'm always using my dick. You never heard that? In one, way, in one way or another, my dick is being used, all right? Whether it's by hands or by vagina, that thing is being used. Well, it's used by itself. It's wet dreaming. Yeah, wet dreaming. I mean, it's fucking just yeah, going, man. that thing. Sometimes my... I think about that sometimes about, uh, like, it going away. If you don't use it? No, your just... Dick? It's what do you mean, going sooner away? Sooner or later, there's going to be a time when you can't get a hona. 
It's gonna happen. Yeah, that's why they got Viagra. <laughs> it's weird though. Listen, bro, when I'm 70 and my dick starts stops working, I'm fucking. I don't care. I'll take three Viagra. Question. Does Viagra make you last longer too or do you last just as long and just get you the boner? No, it just get bl it rushes blood to your dick. But there's a world where I'm kind of like, you know what? If it, it Eventually, if it taps out around 70, it's like, oh, it might be a relief. You know what I mean? Like, you know, think about all the fucking energy that goes into that, you know? Into sex? Yeah, and thinking about it and all that kind of stuff, you know? Not much. It's just like, oh. <laughs> So you should punch it on that. We fucking oh. you just fucking all mouth. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. Like, <clears throat> I, it's the weirdest moments too. My wife would, <laughs> I was taking a shit the other day. My wife came in. <laughs> I picked up a robe. I slapped her ass. And I was like, "This is really uncomfortable. I'm taking a shit right now. But if you leave, you know, and oh. in a second I'll come out and we can fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like what? That sounds fucking, like a real turn off. That's her, mad, you know? That's no, she didn't give a fuck. She's like, okay, you know, <laughs> okay, whatever. Just I'll get up. Yeah, I'll wash my hands in a second. It's love right there. That just that reminded me of fucking. This is gonna be weird. You can think like, it's weird, but I remember, like a long time ago, like in like high school, like Marilyn Manson wrote a book, and he had this. Oh thing, yeah. And he said like, if you get a fucking hard on while you're taking a shit, you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he had a bunch of shit. He had a bunch of shit like that. Why is that gay? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Why is that guy? Guys are like, it. guys are like, oh shit, I got hard. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I fucking knew it. I knew it. But well, I don't know why that just stuck out of my head. If you get a hard on while you're taking a shit, you gay, obviously. That's fucking. That's, that's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> I know, I know. Who was that? I, Marilyn? Marilyn Manson. The weirdo? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. Who listens to that cocksucker? <laughs> Wait, back to the barstool uh, idol thing. The one kid, his story was. The girl who's lying life. about the fucking anxiety cum? Yeah, she. Her and then the other guy like admitted that he's uh several times tasted his own cum. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Kurt just tasted it, tasted it how? Like just grabbed it and really, fucking licked he's it. He's like shooting load in his own face <laughs> while he's didn't fucking... really, <laughs> you know? didn't really hit the tongue, didn't, hit the tongue. <laughs> didn't really elaborate on it, but like that was his shock value. I was like, bro, what? Like that's not that's not something you would yeah. you admit on the You're internet. You're actually now off the show. Instantly. Yeah, that's <laughs> you actually just got kicked off. No, that's fucking weird, bro. Why that's, would you even uh, want to say that? Ugh. Yeah, that's disgusting. fucking weird. For white people, you know? You know what other thing you guys <laughs> do that's actually, weird? Right, go ahead, moshing. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I was watching moshing. some shit on TikTok the other day, and it was just these dudes, like, just... Oh, they do it like a weird dance. But, it's like dance fighting, right? Yeah, but they're just punching each other no, in the fucking stupid. face. It's totally yeah, stupid. That was kind of straight edges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, really but they moshing. still do that now. Moshing was really just pushing. Moshing was like 90s. Now, yeah. bro, they're like knocking motherfuckers out. They're like doing like fucking windmill hand they're like, movements. Yeah, they're going like this, and this and dudes are getting knocked the fuck out. I'm like, this is fucking Dude, weird, Dude, skinheads bro. used to like just go to shows just to fucking beat people up. That, they, they weren't there for the music. They weren't there for anything. You just all of a sudden... I'm going to go around the fucking shows. Have you ever mosh? Sign a oh, fucking seriously. disclosure and I just let me loose on those guys. <laughs> then Jesse gets knocked out. <laughs> Jesse's like... Oh, one at point. a time. One at a time, you know? Not a yeah, group. Yeah, there's, there's just so many of them, bro. You can't <laughs> No, yeah, them. eventually. You, yeah, you got no choice. You, you ever been to one? Yeah, and like... Uh, but I never fucked with that shit because like I can't like play yeah. around like that. I don't know oh, that, that, that music. There's a, just, there's, a, there's a difference between the music. I actually music. fucking, you, I don't know, you might not remember this, but remember Offspring, the Pretty Fly for a White Guy? Mm -hmm. We went to, you know the band The Offspring? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I like the them. I keep, every fucking episode, <laughs> I spill on myself right? like a dick. No, so they had this fucking song, Pretty Fly for a White Guy, and there was a dude in the video, we went to see them in concert, and they had this dude at the concert, and he was like dancing around for the song. He was jumping into the crowd, and he, I was up front. It was like general mission. We were standing and he kept on like kicking me and like <laughs> kept on like, and it happened two or three times. And on third time, I fucking blasted him in his face and fucking, and like the security guard like pulled him out. And I remember he like slinked out like this. And he's like, hey, what the fuck? This is not fun. And this was just some random guy or <clears throat> this was? No, it was a guy that was with the band. Oh. Like dressed up as the character. I don't know if it was the same guy from the video, yeah. but it was a guy dressed up as the character. And he kept on like fucking like hitting me and pushing against me. And Dude, I'm like, deserved it. like it was like, number one, it was like, bro, stay the fuck away from me. Number two was like, bro. And then, you know. I know I, crowd surfing was kind of crazy too. Yeah, because like you can't, that shit's not fun. I've Me ever crowd surf? Yeah, Where the fuck am I going to drink concert? You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck? A fucking Elvis Crespo's concert Elvis with my Crespo. mom? Like, oh, let's fucking Elvis let's Crespo is awesome, bro. Elvis Crespo is, is fucking is fucking. Oh, you've been to a lot of concerts. Me? Yeah. yeah. In my life? Yeah. Well, you're sure. a music. You're a big music. I'm a big music guy too. I don't know. I only been to like five. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> That's it. But concerts for yeah. hip hop. 
is a lot different. Bro, Summer Jam is ghetto. Summer Jam probably sucks. You know why? Because Summer fucking, Jam sucks. You know why Summer Jam probably sucks? Is because most rap, like most rap artists, hip hop artists, 90% of what they do and what they know is in the studio. They don't have a lot of experience. Nah, it's not even that. The show itself is, okay, is good. I like the shows. It's the fucking, there's just too much gang shit there, bro. It's really? It's fucking nuts. That's interesting. You can't even like have a good time. There's fucking fights to break out. It's fucking crazy, bro. Most of the time I've ever heard live hip hop or been around live hip hop, it just sounds like shit. It nah, fucking doesn't sound good. Nah, I, I, <clears throat> no, I like it. Well, Drake has a, he Drake had is a really, list. really good concept. How you feel about the new album? It's groovy. Uh, it's groovy. It's different. It's, it's very not, different. It's, uh, see, but here's the thing. Like everybody shitted on it in the beginning. In a and, month. And I listened to it twice and it, I love house music. Me too. But, I'm, I still wasn't like blown away, but the thing is, like that guy has the ability. He has the star power to make you fuck wants. make you like something. Yeah. So in like six months, everyone's gonna be like, dum, dum, dum. yes, yes, dum, dum. I agree. And it's just it's just the way it is. Like, and now they're saying like '90s house music is coming back, so other people are gonna yeah, you know Kanye yeah. is gonna make an album yes. like that because he's yeah, jealous. Exactly. <laughs> he's like this motherfucker. He did something different, <clears throat> and because of his star power. It'll grow. By next summer, every artist yes. is going to have a fucking house yeah. album. Yeah, which yeah, I'm, sure. I'm cool with. That. I love house music. I know, but that that's not really my type. Of, I like like EDM type music. That's yeah. Just dope. I, not this. No, the thing with Drake is, and this album, how I felt about this album was like, like the way he's like his, the, the vocals, the singing, like every song that he's got that's a groovy song it sounds kind of sounds exactly no, the they same all, they all do sound to where like if he really wanted to do what he just did and I mean who the fuck but the house say? music sounds the same I, in my opinion yeah but the, his vocal like yeah the way he's the, his it. vocal doesn't match very well with like a house groove yeah have you listened to it yeah you like it hate it <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is too it's like I mean compared to his other albums it's like nah no his, bangers no from no bangers. Walden last song with I listened 21 to, Savage is fucking hard I listened to it through twice doing work so here I. and like didn't even realize yeah, what was going on yeah, yeah. ripped through it whereas like but even it's, his last one I you know there's great songs but you don't think yeah. it's groovy you don't think it's da, da, yeah it's da, elevated music it's groovy <laughs> basically yeah I, I have to get used to it I definitely like I, I want to say I don't like it because then like six months from now everybody's gonna listen to it I'm gonna be like Yes. I'm a, I'm a big follower when it comes to music. Like, in, I'll listen to it, be like, that shit's whack. And then, like, three months later, everybody's listening to it, and I'm like, yo, it's just fire. I bet you by the end of the summer, <laughs> there's a million TikTok bitches fucking doing dance They're shit. They're already doing it. Fucking shit. Right. And you know what I hate, though? I hate the people who are like, you just don't understand I don't because know you're, how to talk to you. your musical taste buds. You just, you know. Musical taste yeah, buds. Yeah, seriously. Like, you're not as intellectual as we are. Like, we understand music. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> We're hearing the same thing, you dick. Shut the fuck up. No, I think you know? the, like the, the 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 right version of that comment is like first of all, everybody's preference is their preference. For sure. You dig what you dig. You dig? You dig? You dig. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> but just but I think some people have wider musical tastes than other people. And I think when you're making that comparison, like if a person is only into a certain kind of no, music. No, but if you're into house, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like if I don't like country. I shouldn't be able to judge country music. Sure. I like house music. I can judge house music. Yeah. Period. You, the wide variety is you saying, I'm into this many genres, so I can judge those genres. You, If you like house music and I like house music, we're fucking right. We're right there. Yeah, we have a comedy. Yeah, You're sure. not smarter than me, you bitch-ass no, motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> One time, Jesse had this quote while we were away at, college, at New Paltz. He was, there was a party. It's actually on videotape. I've seen it, not recently, but in really? the last 10 years. And this guy's screaming, wasted. He screams, I like house music. This is my house. Put on some house music. <laughs> yeah. Jesse said that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's, co that's co quality, Jesse. <laughs> This is my house. <laughs> it's like, sir, you're in the cafeteria. You know? It's still my house. Is that one going pencil Yes. <laughs> There's some videotapes of shit that went on there. Hope I'm not Interesting. On Who's got that? Oh, can I see? No. Who's Wait. that? Yeah. Who's Are they waiting until we get famous to fucking publish them? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Who's the who is that? Imagine. Who's the Racines? These girls that we were friends with in, in college. college. Yeah. Um, two sisters. You know what? We were, I, <laughs> Kurt showed me a video before. You know what Jesse does a lot? Like when we 
laugh and we tell a joke after the joke jesse goes that was a funny joke no <laughs> yes like he that? does yes he fucking no. does yes he'll go yes. like oh i definitely don't oh, say that was a oh, funny that joke. was a great so bit studying that the was a great no bit way. no he showed it to me and i was like and it reminded me i'm like bro i, I watch that a lot i watch jesse like after we go and we laugh he's like that was really funny that was good <laughs> That, he explains his emotions. It's fucking hilarious. You don't you don't realize it? No, I've never seen that. Oh, bro! Every every time you watch that, you get. It's because I'm it. a fucking high level communicator, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I am in tune with my emotions, you dick. You know, I'm a fucking empath. He's like, that was a good thing. That made me sad. Yeah, but it, <laughs> like actually saying his emotions. Oh, loud. I felt happy there. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a little, I was intrigued. That was good. That was good. No, I On think to I, the next. <laughs> fucking guy. Next thing, please. You guys are studying tape. You want to know how the master does it. I I ha- <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one who doesn't watch it. It's fucking hilarious. Soon he's going to have hilarious. his own channel with like a master class. Right? I guarantee you. I guarantee you. If he watched it, he'd be like, he'd be like, I look like a dick there, Kurt. Why wouldn't you edit that out? <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. why I don't watch That's it. That's why I don't watch That's it. That's why I don't watch it. I look like an idiot. And it's your fault, Kurt. <laughs> what? I was going to say, that's that's really what it comes down to is like, you don't want him watching this. No. Yeah. yeah. There'll be a whole new crew in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? like, yeah. People exactly. like, listen. I thought, I thought about it, and uh, it's He's not like, for First, me. Kurt, you gotta <laughs> go. John, I thought about you're it. Out. And by the way, Kevin, I don't like the way you're making me look. You're out, also. Hey, listen. I think we just cancel it all. I think we just cancel all. It's not really working out. I, uh, you know, yeah, maybe it is a good idea. You don't fucking want. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Kurt's gonna get screamed at. Why do I look like that, Kurt? <laughs> it's the color grading. It has nothing to Why do with does my face. He's so presence. mean. He's always got to make me he mean. Does. He does. <laughs> Look, Jesse is mean. Uh, He's a mean guy to Kurt. Come on. That girl does not come when she gets anxious. No fucking way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm Can't stop thinking about it. I'm, ba- I'm bothered by that because I feel why? like that's you just can- such bullshit social media. Like, I'm trying to get people uh, to think you, I'm cool. You shit. know what I. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Have you, you, you seen the videos of the, the twerking, the, the panties? Uh, they put you put these panties on your wife and it has like a vibrator. Oh yeah, I've seen on those. it the vibrating panties. Yeah. You ever seen those? I, I think uh, I don't know. Of course, I've seen them. <laughs> yes, I do. But <laughs> I wonder. Kurt's like I'm wearing them right now. In yeah, <laughs> we should get a pair. We should get a pair <laughs> and put it where on Kurt's ass. They don't work good on dudes, probably okay, not. Put it on Kurt's. Kurt's over How's there. How's the prostate feel, Daddy? All of a sudden, we have like a it's time like, oh. silence, and you hear. Kurt, what are you doing over there? Kurt's like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just here, you know, just making just sure everything's just coming because I'm so anxious. <laughs> you get your ass eaten? Whoa! Wow. That was a fucking I wanna know. left. I want to know because no, no. I want to know because I've been yelled at for being like, yeah, you just, you, you're, you're a loser. It's a new thing. You get your ass eaten? No. You get your ass eaten? No way. Bro. You do? No! I've been yelled. I was I've about been, to say, listen, if you do and you girl, admit this, listen, and you're going to tell no, people that your wife Jesse, eats your ass on Jesse, fucking this podcast, Jesse, where, well, where, where have you but been? That's what gives me the wet dream, bro. But that's <laughs> but you have done. That's the shit that people like right now. Every guy is like wants oh, to get their ass eaten. That that's like a thing. Yo, number one, if that's you're like a chick, thing. if you're a chick and you're eating some dude's ass, yeah, no way. You need to be taken out. No way. Listen, my girl goes to grab my ass and she's too close to my asshole. I'm like, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I'm like, well, don't touch my ass, you know? Like, even if she tries to spread my cheeks, I'm like, absolutely not, you know? So yo, fuck, keep those cheeks close. you're a dude and you're like, yo, baby, eat my ass. Like, what the fuck, man? Nah. Bro, it's a thi- bro, nah. it's a thing. Every guy I've spoken to, like, young guy, they're like, yeah, I'll let her bro, eat my ass. Bro, that's because people are tripped out over really? porn, bro. And I'm like, people, people are tripped out over porn. People are watching, people are watching porn and it's yeah. fucking, like, it's brainwashing them mm-hmm. to a bad level. If you're getting your ass licked, you're getting shit stuck up there, too. That's true. true. I mean, <laughs> what? I'm cool. I'm cool with either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that. Last episode, yeah. Get up there with my prostate, girl. Yo, that says best vibrating panties. Yeah, looking at top ten. Panties is a funny word. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesse. Jesse with his random thoughts. Panty, weird word. I wonder who invented the word panty. No, yeah, because like you, who says that? Like, do you ever say like to, oh well, yeah, I like those panties you got? You know what I mean? Like, you don't fucking say that. I think it's a night. It makes me feel good that word. Really, panties? Yeah. I think I say panties. Panties. <laughs> what? You say I underwear. Like, I don't girl. think I say the word panty. So what do you ever. say? I say. I don't know. I say under. I say take your fucking underwear off. <laughs> and I say, I say like that. I say mean. You know, you gotta say mean. Yo, do me a favor. Take your fucking underwear off. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking most <laughs> fun, <laughs> fucking erotic way of fucking. Well, she likes that shit, bro. Well, I'm like, yo, take your fucking pants off. I think off I might not off. say anything and it's just like, like oh my God. take them off. Oh my God, that'd be so nice. Hey, nasty. how about those panties? Drop them drawers. Is that what you say? You just say, take them off. I don't think I say anything. Yeah, right. I mean, you're not you fucking don't, You probably don't say anything. I'm not very verbal, you know, during... No? During, yeah. no, 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 no. No? No. Not very verbal. Wow. You don't like your fucker, and then you like, panties is a weird word. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, hold it. You know what I'm thinking about right now? You know, you know what's so weird? I'm at, right now, I'm having pleasure. <laughs> A little bit of pain, anxiety. Wait, 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 I'm anxious. I'm gonna come. I have anxiety. I'm happy. This feels good. You know, no. I think it's really cool. And you I know, when you nostrils. pull up to somebody at like a red light or a stop sign, like they picking their nose next to you. I love that. I do yeah. that. I love that. I get shit. caught you picking my it. nose all the time, yeah. and I embrace it. Where you catch me picking my nose, I'm like, no, I'm with it. I mean, absolutely. Up? All right, so I'll where pick my nose right fucking here. Where in your car are you putting all those boogers? Where, I flick it out the window. Oh, out the window. Or I eat it. Underneath the seat. Or you just eat it. I'll flick them anyway. Eat it? Yeah, fuck. fuck it. Eat it. You can't, eat it. You can't flick them all the time. They don't always come off. I don't think I ever ate a booger. <laughs> well, Kurt's Nancy, he's like, I just put it on my father's pants. <laughs> <laughs> my father gave me these pants. These aren't mine anyway. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm sure he gave me an extra, an extra pair of khakis. Everybody puts it under their seat. Right? Yeah, well, no, I'll Kurt. I'll flick it on the floor. Yeah, Kurt. I was going to say, the floor, like wipe it on the Kurt, you know, the no corner. one has put it under there. See, you nasty fuck. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a company car. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you put it under your seat, you dirty fuck. That's disgusting. No, bro. but what about if you're in somebody else's car and you subconsciously, like, you don't even think about it and you flick it on their floor? Oh, my wife gets mad because I flick it. Like, I'll flick it. She'd be like, stop flicking your fucking boogers. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, where do you want me to put them? Talking about like car etiquette, I got a fucking a friend of ours, Danny Vega. Fucking Does he leave garbage? No, he he his father like was a ma Puerto Rican guy. They were like immaculate with their cars. Like they were like they would wash those things like three times a day, fucking detail them yeah, out. Yeah, Puerto Rican's like that. Clean car, <laughs> dirty ass. And, <laughs> but he had this weird thing to where like when we were kids, like if somebody would fought in the car, be like, bro, you're farting in my fucking car, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? Bro. And he would get so mad. Oh, I get mad he at would that get shit so too. Mad. I get mad at that shit too. Don't if fart. somebody else farts in your car, don't fart in my car. Bro. But is it is it like like would, like would you are you equally as mad like if like somebody farts like in this room? Yes, I don't like that shit. When people hold fart. that fucker in. So Look, are we talking about this the other day? Like, are you the kind of guy to where like, like? No, I'm not gonna start an argument over no, it. No, but not like not even that. Like, are you are you like embarrassed to fart in front of people? No, I'm not embarrassed. It's just I think it's disgusting. It, that shit fucking smells so bad, bro. <laughs> Especially white farts. White what? farts are no, like that, that's right. why they white that's farts. That's not right. That's not racist. It's it smell racist. like bologna. It's disgusting. It's fucking white farts are different. My farts are terrible. They're the worst ever. Yeah, I have terrible farts. My fucking wife, man. She calls me every single I'm looking time. At, I'm watching John. I'm, I was I'm about to. Myself, like, what the fuck I was are you about doing? to say, John, get off <laughs> your fucking phone. And then he goes, my fucking wife, man. This is funny, though. Like, she just. She, first of all, she calls me every single time we're recording this podcast. Every time. Yeah, I, I got, got one. I, I got one, too. I actually said, I'm about, I'm about to say, podcast. Same thing as every Thursday between four and six. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> She's like, right oh, now. every time I yeah. call you, you're exactly. on your podcast. So I sent I her a text. I say, recording the podcast, call you in a few, whatever. She writes back, hey, I've been thinking of you a lot lately. How are you doing? What? Right? What? And she then she writes L L L L O L, not for you, babe. Oh! <laughs> what? I, I know said, it's funny. I was just about to say, like, was that? Did she mean that for her boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I said to her. I said, so what guy are you sending that to? Wait, what? And my wife is like the furthest thing from that. She's definitely sending it to a guy, but like out of context, I'm like, oh, what the dude. Fuck? If my wife sent me that right now. I'm leaving. I'm kick, like, hey guys, kick the fuck out of here. Like, gotta get out of here. You know? You wouldn't even say that. You'd just fucking leave. You'd kick if my wife knows, she couldn't LOL me, though. Like, if <laughs> if my wife said that, she like, fucked LOL, up. LOL? She wouldn't be like, LOL, looking... not for you, babe. I, she knows, like, oh fuck. She's like starting to pack her shit. You never text <laughs> my wife, my wife is all, she knows if she sent me that text message, she's already packing her shit. Like, she's calling her mom. She's like, I'm scared. And she's like, did he even say anything he yet? She's like, no, but I know him. That's crazy. That is a little weird, John. I don't know. See, he, he passes <laughs> Does she fuck with you like that, though? No, she's not fucking with me. She's like the fucking patron saint of wives. That's what they want you to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's know. probably like a friend, Gracie. Exactly. exactly. You know? Yeah. My wife doesn't have any friends. Come to the book club meeting tonight. I was just going to say the book club meeting. <laughs> My wife doesn't have any friends. So I know if she's sending that, she's sending it to a dude. 
You LOL. bitch. I guess that no is friends. the qualifier. It's like, you don't have any friends. Who would you send it? Yeah, who are you sending that shit to? Because it ain't your fucking friends. You don't have any. You know my mother and your mother. That's about it. <laughs> Only females in your life, bitch. Don't, don't let you fucking start. Oh, no, I met this new girl. She was cool. <laughs> Oof. What Dude, do you mean I, it's a new girl? You said I really want to suck your dick, and I, I, I really, oh I really, God. I know Jesse's fucking. Jeez. What? What? Jesse's taking it. To I just took it to the streets. <laughs> yeah, like Morning real quick. Boners. <laughs> fucking Jesse fucking cracks me up, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker. Sucks when you text you on. I don't Texting, do that a lot. Yo, in college, I did it talking shit about this dude, yeah. and I was like, you said it to him. No, I said it to my boy. I sent it to my boy. I texted it to him, and I was like, "This motherfucker, if he fucking says something again, I'm telling you, I'm gonna fucking knock him out." So I sent it to him, and I'm like, at that point, I'm like, Psh, I have to own it. Like, yeah. you have to own it. You can't be like, "My bad, bro." Like, so I was like, "Yeah, I meant to send that to you." I was like, "I just want. I don't want to be talking behind your back." So I made nice. sure. I made sure the text well, I, I sent. Say, I say to that pretty face. quick. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm like, so I sent it to him, and I sent it to you. I just want you to know, motherfucker. You know. And he was like, he totally pussied out. So I was like, yes. So Kevin, I really appreciate you bringing that to my attention. <laughs> I just want to CC you on that text, bitch. <laughs> Make sure you understand. I've been looking for the truth from my friends lately. Oh, man, bro. I know I've had a bit of a, a behavioral problem as of lately. Even the simple ones, like my, my boss's name is Kevin. And I texted him I know, he texted to me. This week. And I was like, oh, fuck, I totally texted that to my other boss. I was like, that was ridiculous. I don't think I ever did that. No? No. And if I have done it, very few times. You remember when we used to butt dial? That was bad. I butt dial. I used to butt dial my girl all the time. And I'd be like, fuck that bitch. Like super young. And I look at oh it. It's like, yeah. it says Nikita, 14 minutes, 76 <laughs> seconds. And I'm like, she and I'm like, everything? and I'm like, shh. I tell everybody shit. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> and she's like, ah! I'm like, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Yo, even though that's not a thing anymore, sometimes you'll be talking shit about somebody be like, wait, was my phone on? Definitely. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do that no all the time. No one does that anymore. Well, because yeah. iPhone locks automatically. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it doesn't matter. But you back still, in the day, you, you were able to ask still. them. You could, it happens. No, you can't. No? No. Your phone locks. Your phone I've butt dialed. No. You I, probably I, just I drunk. Yeah. <laughs> you were on shrooms, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's like... That was oh, a joke. I butt dialed you <laughs> with my thumbs. With my, I dialed your number and butt dialed you with my thumbs. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yo, we drank a lot. Oh no, you still on? I'm on three. I'm on three. Pussy. Oh my I'm God. on three too, actually. Cheeto, Cheeto. <laughs> What's up, oh, Cheeto? You're, you're on three. You're not on three. Still got another. Oh, this is number three. Chug it, bitch. Come on, Bing, Paloma. Fast. Say something stupid. Fucking cheetah. Ari, Ari Shafir was I'm on. so fucking old, bro. See what happened? I on, take uh, gulps. I'm like... <laughs> Ari Shafir was on Rogan, and he was trying to go, like, beer for beer with Shane Gillis or whatever. They he fucking him. passed out, right? He puked underneath the table. Wait, wait. They who, had him fucking, like, on the, who on the ground. Who did Shane McGillis did it? Yeah, Shane McGillis, like, drinks, like, he goes, they had that thing, uh, Protect Our Parks, where it's, like, three of them. Okay. Like, it's a, it's a set now episode of Rogan's show. <laughs> okay. And Shane McGillis drinks, like, 30 Bud Lights on the show. Really? And it's fine. I mean, he's fucked up, but he's fine. It's like what yeah. he does all the time. So they had a bet on the last one that they didn't tell Rogan about <clears throat> that Ari Shafir was going to uh, keep up with him. And after like 12, he's like fucking hang on the microphone. <laughs> and then he fell off the chair under the thing. They kept him under there. And then he just started vomiting. Oh, in the studio? On, yeah. What, but oh. is it on? Did they, did they capture it on the episode? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. You know it's a fucking funny? serial killer. You know this guy. The, but the, 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 the. He's a part of Matrix. You keep on talking about the Matrix. I know, bro. He's like, the, 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 the. <laughs> reset. What the fuck was that? That was Jesse's. That was Jesse's reset. It was the weirdest thing. I'm looking at. Him, he's having a hard time getting out. He's like, la, 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 la. and then his reset. His fucking reset is fucking. <laughs> If I yeah, get, if just, I fucking off on listen, my you know? computer has more RAM than other people. I don't want to tell you. Oh Jesse, bro, <laughs> Jesse is fucking hilarious. <laughs> back to my story. <laughs> I am back. You know what the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Go ahead, say it. Jesse's gonna say that was good. <laughs> that was funny. It that was, was. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings at this point Wait, are. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that did they actually show him throwing up? Well, he was under the table, but you hear him. 
Uh, they were oh. all looking at him, and Rogan was uh, so uncomfortable. Was Rogan pissed? He was pissed. Oh. He was pissed. He was pissed. Yeah. But he posted it on his on his on his Instagram. But you could tell on the show that he was pissed. He was trying to finish the show, and the guy's under the table like puking. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, like Rogan then promotes. It still is such a nice guy that he promotes Ari shit. He's like, you can find Ari at the fucking oh. laugh factory this weekend. He's- and one of the guys puking under the fucking table. That's hilarious, Dark. bro. But one thing he does do is he hooks up all his boys, he, which is yo, dope. He's got. He's, he's dope. He, there is, there is, I, I, in my opinion, there is not a profession that's more ballsy than that. You know, to go up there and ev- because there's no, every single pair of eyes is on you. There's, and there's only expecting one thing from you. Make me fucking giggle, bitch. You know, and it's like. And there's also the level of like, it's an art form that has to be pre-prepared for. Yes. But then there's also the level of like, you have to play the crowd. You have to play the crowd and be authentic. In the moment. But you also have to be, you can tell when someone is naturally funny, like, and then could just come off the cuff and be funny. And you can also tell when it's like, they're prepared. They're trying to be a comedian. Because I don't like the whole comedy shit where it's like, I was just talking with Kurt about this, where it's like they get on stage and they're like, what's up, everybody? Like, so I was on the bus the other day and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't like that shit. Like, yeah. I'd rather, you know, like Andrew Schultz. He's dope. He goes up there. He's just himself. You know, he talks to the crowd. He ha- he adds his bits, but he adds it in a way where you can't tell. He's just having a conversation. I've never really, I don't I don't know much. I only know him of the you haven't pod- You haven't watched him? Like, I know his dope. podcast, but I've never seen his he, yeah. His stand-up is dope. I yeah. like his stand-up. Yeah, for sure. Was he a stand-up guy before the podcast yes. or was the podcast guy first? No, no, he was a stand-up guy first. It's funny how podcasting and stand-up is is, is, it's, is, well, look is, at, is kind of becoming a King symbiotic Bach, relationship. King Bach was started in social media. King Bach is black guy, right? Yeah. And now he's like doing shows and he's killing it, bro. He's yeah. doing his thing. I think that's the harder transition. The harder transition is from social media because comedians aren't taking you serious, you know, and it's a totally different dynamic. It's, 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 it's different an world. art form. It's a specific thing. Yeah, for sure. It's a specific thing. It's not like, because the reality is, is that like if you're making minute long videos and you're coming up with ideas for a minute's worth of fucking attention span. It's different than a, It's a completely different than, an than hour sitting of, up there for yeah, yeah. even 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I don't, 20 minutes holding the attention span of a group of people in front of you, being witty, responsive, yes. feeling the fact. That's a yeah. whole a lot of psychology. I think podcasting is more closely related to comedy, though, because podcasting is it's longer format. Yeah. You know, it's not the same thing. Yeah, but, but I think it's more closely related than social media. The audience skits. is different every single show, though. That's a, that's a, yeah, yeah, but also yeah, yeah. podcasting yeah. too, like in this room, like we're all feeding off of each other's energy. Whereas, like, stand up you're comedy, by yourself. you're by yourself for sure. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So, you got to be able to A, have a plan. Yes. B, it has to be well organized. Yeah, it, it has to be well organized. Definitely. It has to be well rehearsed. Yes. And it can't, you know, yes. And crowd work, like, if you're good at like just being off the cuff, that's dope, but you can't do that for an hour. Yeah. I think you could do it, man. I just I think I think you have to put some work and I'm, time I'm, into the planning of it. I'm gonna do it rather than I'm just gonna be like, do yo, it. I'm gonna try my, to do this. My biggest worry is my. I feel like my biggest obstacle is myself because you have to go up there and you have to fight well, through that shit. Well, that's what it is. I mean, that's why like those comedians or the traditional comedian, in the sense of the word, is like they've bombed hundreds and hundreds of times right. to get to the point where they're at. And that's why they're like, you know, it's an exercise. It's like fucking working out a yeah. muscle. Yes. You have you to, know? you have to practice. The yeah, thing, but, the difference is, me, me practicing now is like different. But with I, with somebody like you, I would be less concerned about that part and more concerned about the part of like, because like you have an audience, people know who you are. You could, I'm sure there's people that are at your size that gas themselves up. They're like, yo, I'm fucking funny. People love me, yeah. and I'm gonna go from. But where, I'm not that I'm, guy. I'm like. gonna go and I'm gonna go jump and do this now. Whereas like. You're gonna bomb either way on the first fucking time, but if you say I don't think I don't think that's you true might not though. Bomb the first time. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so that's either. true. I don't think that's true. I, don't think so either. I guess yeah. maybe I guess you maybe can, bomb is you, not the right word. But bomb, look, you're always you, there is gonna be times you write jokes that don't hit. Yep. Of course, you know what I mean. Of course, one hundred percent. But I feel like jumping into that game without giving that game the respect that it deserves in terms of like planning what, it, working that muscle. Right, right. But you how do you work do the it? muscle? You make a plan. You got to write bits. And all right. So, yeah. But what, how record, else do you, you know what I'm muscle? saying? Record them. Record fucking record them. You know what I mean? Like fucking that type of shit. I like do fucking- that every day. 
You want to see my audio? I do that. Do you feel ready? Is that what you're saying? No, fuck no. I don't think I'm ready at all. <laughs> see, but but I don't. But I also believe that you can convince yourself that you'll never be ready. No, that's definitely true. So yeah, that's definitely so true. Uh, you at the end of the day, you have to make the leap. No, sure. with that if, doubt. If, if you feel like this is something you want to do, you got to make the leap. 100%. And you can't because your pussy fucking fibers will kick in. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you'll be like. Can't do it, bro. And da, 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 da. and yeah. at, also, I also believe that you have to trust your own instincts because people are going to tell you all kinds of shit. And people yeah. can put you in a box. Yeah, people yeah. think they know you. They can put you in a box. And happen with social media. With Definitely. social media, people are like, what are you doing, bro? Like, you making videos? Yeah, I'm making videos. For what? Because uh, I think it's funny. And it's like, yeah, but they're all right. Like, that's cool. But like, what are you, what are your goals? I'm serious. What are your goals? Are you trying to be famous? And it's like, no, that's, that's not what I'm trying to do, but like, you know. She's like, yes, and, motherfucker. And, and my and, goal is to not talk to people like you about shit like this. Right, but people tend to <laughs> put you in a box and they don't understand until it's already going on, until it's already happening. And then once it's happening, then it's like, oh, okay, like I can see it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, what it's the, hot. What the most important thing is, is all of these art forms and all of these forms of entertainment have ways that they were done and ways that you would arrive at a point where you were a comedian. Those things don't exist anymore. Yeah, and the, line, the lines it's are blurred. A world. Yeah, it's, it's a, a different world. The lines are blurred. And there's different paths for everybody. And you can, now more than ever, you can write your own story. And what's hard is that as much as I respect all those old school comedians, like they're still kind of like an old guard feel about them. What about live? You know? Yeah, it's not. And it's, that's, that's not cool to me because there's people that are entertaining and funny and they just didn't do it the way that you did. Right. They didn't do it the traditional route. Right. Yeah, and, and there is no be a new crop of and there people. is no traditional route anymore. No, and the social thing is, media has equalized all that shit. Yeah, it equalizes there's no everything. fucking rules because there's tons of fucking stand up comedians that I love and I hate them on social media. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate them person. when they I hate them when they promote their shit, and I and and, and that's a funny thing for me because I feel like it's like you're a funny dude and you know how to go up there and be funny. Why are you changing that whole dynamic for social media? Is there it, it is is Live podcasting in front of an audience, a thing? Mm -hmm. Are people doing that? They do it a lot. Yeah. They do it a lot. But that's a total. That's also a totally different dynamic because you have a whole crowd reacting. But that's, I think, fucking like a good. Yeah, but it's different, Jesse. It's not. It's it, that's a good trend. That might be a good transition, but that's a that's totally different. That's a that's probably new, right? That's that. That's, well, it's that's also not... it's also different because it's like. Are people going to purchase fucking, you know, if I can sell 200 tickets to a stand-up show for myself, can I sell 200 tickets to a fucking, to to our podcast? No, but that's not what he means. I think oh. what he's saying is like for you getting comfortable being in front of a crowd. Like no, for sure. I but I that's, bro a good, that's a good, uh, I, let's, that's a good way to look at let's, it. Let's, let's do I, it. That yeah. was, I had that idea originally. Let's do that. It's just, it's such a different dynamic. Yeah, it's but like, I mean, what the, the the thing about it is that if we were to do that, it's the four of us going into it as a fucking team. You want to be? Like, you want to be looked at? No, really. I'll, I mean, he doesn't have a. Wait, put on a mask. <laughs> Just put a fucking screen, a screen mask put on a him. Box around me. That's Kurt. I would. <laughs> we I have would. Kurt in a beekeeper's outfit. <laughs> I would. I bro. We I told Nikita that. I would love to do a live show of us. It just. We should do it. But where do we do something? Like there's a million. I mean, the fucking first we make the decision that we're going to do it, and then we figure out how to go and I would, sell the concept. I, I would, I would love to do something like that. I think that do would be live. smart, and it would be really good for you because it would be like a, a baby step to that live performance bug. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would give you like some context to being on a stage in front of it's people. It's hard. It's hard, bro, because you get so many opinions, and there are a lot of opinions that are, yeah, but that's you know, what you I'm saying respect. about all the, that. That's no, no, I'm, but I'm saying opinions of not just like nobody people. I'm saying opinions of people that you respect, you know, and they all have different opinions. Everybody that right. you respect, yeah, but in I one think, way or another, has a different opinion. And then, you know, people that are in the industry have a different opinion and you talk to fucking 15 different people and everybody has a different thing to say. A hundred percent. But I, I think something that is universally true and I and I admit that I don't know what it's like to have the audience that you have. I don't have that. But but yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, soon, soon. But I do believe Not next month. <laughs> I do believe that ultimately at the heights of being someone who makes it happen, being a successful person. At the end of the day, only you can decide what you are, what you're good at, 
what you should do. Like you get feedback from people and you become, and, and everybody's insecure, especially, you know, oh, for sure. in the creative world, like fucking insecurity just comes with the fucking territory. As an artist, you're always insecure. Always, but at the end of the day, you have to decide. And like you said, you have to take the leap. Yes. And no one is going to take the leap with you. Right. You're doing it on your you, own. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? But that's why it's like, okay, so then you just got, yeah, there's always, maybe there's more, there's probably better ways to do it. But it's like, at this point, like, what's, what is that way? Well, you I know what you, you know what sucks, and I think about this a lot too. Like in in like in like what we do, like myself, right? Like so, like we have this fucking company, and the company is super diverse. That you know, we have this marketing division, we have a studio. You know, I've been a musician my whole life. You know, we produce, we do all these things, and like you said, I don't fucking promote myself on fucking social media. So I oftentimes feel the pressure of like, you know, how do I present myself? as to what I am, right? And what I do. And like, there's different areas that are obvious in terms of our development. But then I kind of like have to like step back and, and say to myself, like, I'm all these fucking things. And I know that. And I have to live my life that way in terms of, but with the social, social media is a blessing, but it's also a fucking curse because well, it's like- think too much it's, into it's it. It's pushing it people to like make these decisions of like, I am this. It's, you, you create a world of, or niches, or, or niches. rather than and. Yeah, yeah. But, it's like but, I am this or that instead of I am this and that. But and it's this. your resume. But here's the thing: why I feel about social media, it's your resume. And as an artist, because you are a fucking musician, you when you make music, you do what you feel is right. No, and I can admit that, like I, I, I'm, I'm pussy with the shit. Like, right. like I, I. But that's I, that's I think, the only thing keeping you from presenting certain things on social media. Yeah. The only thing keeping you from is other people's judgment. Of what that is, I don't even think it's so much that. Well, it's, your own it, judgment. It, it, it's more of my overthinking. Yes, my, but, it's more of my overthinking. But of that like, has to do with other people. Yeah, I guess you're because right. Because if it I was, guess you're right. if it was just a social media that only Jesse saw. Yeah, you're right. You you're wouldn't right. give a fuck if right. Jesse was the only one who saw his own social media. You'd post whatever the fuck you wanted, but because you're putting this out to a bunch of other people, you don't know. You overthink it. Whereas if you were to just be yourself and say fuck it. This is what I want to post because I want to post it. It would flow a lot better. Yeah, yeah. And he gets anxiety orgasms. Yeah, They're which, really which, <laughs> which I wish, which I wish I got. You know, what I mean? which anxiety I wish I got. Yeah, I don't want to be blowing my load all over everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking, like people, like the fans can't handle that shit. You know, <laughs> one guy's fucking blowing a load at night. The other guy gets nervous and blows a load. But I, I would, I would honestly be, I'd much rather blow a load while I was nervous. <laughs> You know, if I was nervous and blowing loads, bro. No, I wouldn't because I'm going to be blowing loads all the time. You, mean, you, you get nervous often? All you, the time. Do you really? No, but wait. No, but my natural state, like I'm like a fear no, biting not dog. Yeah, yeah. Like but, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, my natural state is I've just gotten good at it. Of like pretending you're not nervous. No, not, it's not even pretending because like I'm someone who like, like, you know, like my whole thing is like the war on fear. That's my mindset. But like, it's not not being afraid. It's being it's being able comfortable to, as you're afraid. It's being getting getting past it and not letting it hold you back. But I'm fucking nervous and anxious and overthinking all the fucking time. I'm just really good at being like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna do it anyway. Do you, are you? John's not an overthinker. Yes, he is. He's no, a he's, fucking he's no, no, no. He's an overthinker, but you don't. Yeah. But you, yeah, but you don't let it take over your emotions. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm also very I'm also a very big overthinker. I'm a wreck. I you you're a wreck too. I'm a, I'm an overthinker. I overthink. I think most people are. I just think no. It's, I don't think I don't think no? most people because I know a lot of people. My my boy, like I know a lot of people who are like, bro, relax. You know, yeah, like it's not that big of a deal. I don't think most people are, but I think if you are, you kind of gravitate towards people that are the same way. Yes. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just fuck dangerous. <laughs> Which is very dangerous because yeah. now you got a bunch of paranoid fucks but, all in one no. room. It's like yes, you're right. But cigarette, also at the same time. Help. Don't you know, cigarettes are not up. They make it worse, bro. They make it worse. Now with every pull of the Cigarette. cigarette, I'm like, cigarettes fucking help, bro. Definitely gonna get cancer again. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it, getting cancer again. Good. It's gotta come to terms with cancer. That's already in there. No, but did that's what? Did you just spit? What was I that? Did. did you just fucking spit? <laughs> I saw that. Was that a tooth? Was a projectile. That was so big, Jesse. What was that? I don't know. It might have been like a piece of my esophagus. Ow. <laughs> did Jesse just spit in the studio? He was like, <laughs> he's such a cocky bitch. He's like, I own it. 
<laughs> Not nervous right now. <laughs> Not Real nervous right now. Here's my tooth. <laughs> no, but that's another thing too. Like I, I go extremes. Like I go from being, I mean, he sees me all the fucking time. Like I, I fucking panic about everything. And then I'll go from super fucking like worried. And then I'll be like, fuck everything. We go all the fucking See, way. This, all the John, chips in the John, front. Your, your dynamic with John. It's perfect counterbalance. It's very funny because John knows, John is a lot more level. You're like me. Like, we're like fucking boom, oh, yeah. boom, 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 yeah. all over the place. I could be up. I could be yeah. down. I could be in my room shivering. Jerking I could be jerking off. off in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I'm like this, bro, yeah. you know? And it's funny because, like, you're you're more level. Yes. You're very level. And it's almost like, because I do it with you, too. Like, I'll reach out to you to yeah. kind of just be like, all right. What do you mean, like last night? Yeah. Like, that levels. <laughs> that, like your that. next text message was, yeah, I just hit up the guy from Live Nation. <laughs> I didn't do anything you told me to do. <laughs> but that's but that's a good but that's but that's like, like John John's like John like love me I'm like I feel good thank you for your advice no but that anyways yeah I was like you gotta make a plan you know it's gonna take time this guy's like yo I just fucking booked the venue uh, like, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm doing, I'm doing the, have you ever heard of the theater at Madison Square Garden? (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to see if they can get me in. (laughs) Oh, that's hilarious. Because that's exactly, but, but that's what's so funny is like the dynamic between, that's why you're super lucky to have someone like that because he's like, he levels you out. Yeah. But his idea of like, I'm so curious, like John knows you so well, you know, you you obviously know John really well too, but it's different. Like John knows like. How to like? He's just more level. I wish I was more like that, of just even keel with my emotions, and I'm not, bro. I'm like, no, but see, that's not the fucking thing. You don't, you like, like, because I don't wish that I was like him. No, no, no. You know I wish I mean? like emotion, and, and, and emotion. that's not no. But what I'm saying is that the key, the the, the key is is build a team. You are who you are. Of yeah, exact. Number one, know who you are and fucking yes. own it. Yeah. Number two is if you really want to play this game, you got to build a team of people who reinforce the things that you're not good at and being able to say disgusting fuck <laughs> was that I was on some I was on some really fucking the fuck you know, was that I was on some really motivational <laughs> shit I know I was, Jesse's, I was Jesse's about to in say his, like some profound <laughs> fucking like Jesse's in his biggest moment and I'm like and I'm trying not to giggle because this fucker <laughs> is releasing his shirt to the wind I don't know what that was I don't know what that was and I'm like I don't want to laugh in Jesse's face so I'm like Fuck! I'm looking at well, the concept. I forget it. that I'm actually a part of this, you know. Like, and that was that time I had lint on my shirt. That's like a hilarious. Totally. What the fuck, the fuck is that? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, but not yeah. really. Sometimes. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, no, what, what we should is. do is we should we should we should try to do a fucking live podcast. We should. I we wanna, should do that. I want to do it. We I want to do, do it. Don't do laugh here. Where in, in the, the studio? studio? We could we could set it up nice. It get what nice. fifty it, people? You could fit fifty people. And right the there. thing is, what, what would be cool is this low fucking stakes because nobody knows nothing. Yeah, you know fifty I mean? people, like, and we take everybody's phone, and throw it in the garbage. Yes, yeah, you definitely do that. Give me your phone, or throw it in the garbage, or we fucking book, you know, a venue that's not fucking crazy, crazy, but fucking. I bet you somebody could get us in, like to like spotlight at the Paramount or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we have enough fucking steam to where we could fucking do a place that's like Why don't we just nice. Put it in the studio? Yeah, well, I, I mean, that listen, awesome. I did. Yo, like hold on, on. before idea. we before hey, we continue, you. I just fucking said it three minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say it? My yeah. wife just texted me and told me that my kid has no control. He needs help. <laughs> wow, the wife but, texts are hot in this one. My wife's texting fucking people needs, that she. He needs to be evaluated. Needs, no control, and I'm sick of it. Jake needs help. <laughs> he needs about. Eva- he needs to be evaluated. Oh, but bro, the I think our our the people who fucking watch our shit need to appreciate that we are totally an open book. Because no fucking podcast talks about shit like this. We're like, yeah, let's do a show. And like, yeah, fuck these guys. They'll definitely come. You know what I mean? And we're like, but this is what makes our podcast, I think, dope. Because we don't give a fuck. Because we got to be who we are. We can't fucking try to pretend to fucking. I mean, I've never been interested in anything other than fucking. And I'm, and I'm, and I feel the same way, you know? But like, I had a meeting today. I told somebody, I was like, bro, you have to be. It was a blogger and, uh, you know, I was just, I was giving her advice and I was telling her like, yo, you have to be your most authentic self. Yeah, but here's a problem with the authentic self, right? It's true. It's totally true. But not everybody's fucking cool. 
Like you could be authentic and still be a fucking douchebag because yes. you're not fucking cool. Yes, but you all. But that's what I also said. But you also have to realize when like it's just not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you know not, what I mean? When, like when this is not for you. And there's there's plenty of things that are not for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, there are plenty of things that I've fucking done and been like. This ain't for me. Yeah, yeah. You have to know when to move on sure, sure, and you sure. have to know when you found your shit. And yep. eventually you will. You know what I mean? I Bro, there's been so many fuck. Bro, think about it. We watch boxers, basketball players, football players. We all wish that like we were in that position, but that's not for us. Yeah, yeah. That's not for us. I could have made it in the NBA. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, guy. I, I could I could have made it in porno. No, definitely not. <laughs> If it was a real short porno. Short, porno short. Yeah. short dicks. Hey, listen, short. under a minute pornos, I'm good. No, the you know, la- when the- we start going into the long form no, the- format, I'm just not not the- that good. The last thing is not is not as much of a problem as the fucking size, you know? What, you got a little dick? Show me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing that anybody Show wants to record. Show your dick. Show your <laughs> dick. Okay, one, two, three, dicks out. What? <laughs> Bro, when I was younger... When I was younger, we all, that was like, we talked about that a lot. Like, what? How big's your dick? How big's your dick? It's fucking weird, man. Measure it. Were you gay when you were younger? Yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) No, but like, I wanted to know. Like, I wanted to, you got to size yourself up. What do you mean? You want to, like, understand? Like, what's your your dick size? Legitimately, no bullshit. Don't fucking lie. Yeah, not when you take the ruler and measure from your asshole. Yeah. (laughs) He's like, if I stole it from my chain and I go over, it's 11 inches. He's like, He's like, I can feel it a little bit back then. Like it stops in my skin. If I push hard enough, if I push hard enough inside her, she definitely gets like an extra inch or two. I feel a little if bit. I put of, it on, I feel a little bit of a trunk. If I put it on the countertop and the bands are yeah, sick, yeah. it really push against it. No, I want to know, bitch. Is it? Or how about this? Is it bigger than this can? No. no, this can't huge. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, there it's settled. It's settled. It's settled, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's settled. <laughs> Yours is bigger than he that can. He said it. He said it without saying it. That might be the Cheeto fucking. Yours is bigger than this can. Yeah, totally. That's the Cheeto man. It's not. It's it's not as fat. <laughs> but it's it's it, but it's it's this long. Should be. Yeah? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. It should be. Oh, man, Jesse! <laughs> oh, man, Jesse! Jesse's drinking and he's taking an extra sip. He's like, fuck. He's like, I'm no longer thirsty. Uh, little below average. <laughs> Jesse! And he's like, no, no, but that's not what I meant. I meant, like, with No, wise. listen, bro. Authentic. I, you know, I'm coming to the party with what I got, bro. I'm fucking No, up. listen, brother. You got to take what you got, <laughs> you know? It, you got to take it. what you got. John, John, you got a fucking, you got a can. You, you working with a hammer? You got a can? I'm a grower, not a shower. No. Well, oh, I'm Without also a I'm also Without a grower. A My flaccid <laughs> penis is so fucking un- <laughs> unimpressive. It's insane. I don't but like, when, but when bro, you, you know, going. you know, you get you're a grower and not a shower when you fucking get out of the water <sighs> and you, the first thing you do is pull. <laughs> first thing you do is fucking you pull your baby your suit out because you're like. <laughs> They gonna see my little shrimp dick. <laughs> they gonna see my little shrimp dick. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, but like, wait a second. Listen, you're like, you, you only come get out of the water. You're thinking about that? Yeah, bro. Cause what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm I mean? I'm not thinking about that. Well, th- you're not a grower then. You're a shower. You, 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 you're a shower. You're just, you're you're, like your, meat, your meat stays this big. <laughs> your meat stays this big. Jesse's you like, yo, I'm, yeah, I got soft, fat. hard, same size. <laughs> you trying to say I got a fat, a fat, flaccid dick? See, my my shit like awkwardly my grows sh- large. You know what I mean? Like it could be Out of really nowhere? small and then it's just like. <laughs> and it's like, the beast is here. The beast is here. The fact that that when, can like even the, happen. Like the drums start playing, like yeah. African <laughs> drums and shit. Booga daga daga booga 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 booga. You know, dick is here. Booga dooga dooga. That's a great clip. Jesse, Jesse. I only want the clip of Jesse from the beginning of that. Booga daga 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 daga. Exactly. Kenneth Dick is here. And that's the intro. Booga daga daga. Kenneth Dick is here. No, but uh, but you don't. You do that, right? Coming what? out of the water, Absolutely. you pull. Yeah, bro. The first unless, thing, unless the first you, got thing little... you think about when you get out of the fucking I'm water is like, just, is if your I, dick yeah. looks small. I don't want it to be like. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Nah, you got the meat, bro. Don't listen to this motherfucker. You got the meat. You got the meat. No, but when you come out of the ocean, yeah, you're fixing yourself. Wow. You don't want it. Wow. It's not good enough to show. Go ahead, Ditch. tell us your emotions. He was about to. He was a fucking about to. He was about to say. Yes, he was like, wow, wow. I feel funny. (laughs) 
I feel happy. What is this? I feel happy. Bro, laughter. it's fucking hell. I'm so glad I brought that up because now I can tell he's stopping. Now I can tell he stops. He's like, I never fucking did that. And now he's like, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, I really Nothing. find this situation humorous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh, I really like birthday. these guys. Is it really your birthday tomorrow? Yeah. Is Holy it your birthday shit. tomorrow? Get some steak. Wow. You're, wait, 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 wait. you're a piece of shit, and you're a piece of shit. I'm not a piece of shit because Why? I met Kurt a year ago. Yeah, but you're on social you're, media. It says no, 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 no. You're a piece of shit. Birthday. You're a piece of shit. The fact that you don't know when his birthday is is fucked up. Yeah, but I feel like when you're like fucking, no. when you're old like we are, you gotta announce it. You gotta yeah, say you it in advance. In advance. Wait, I don't get fucking beat up over that. You know, like, no, no, no. I'm not saying he get beat up. I'm just saying, in I general, mean, you're a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> no, he's like, I'm no, not, I'm saying, not saying anything. I'm not saying you guys are just he's going to be He's gonna be sad about it. I'm just telling you, you're a dick, you're a dick. I mean, fucking 40, when you're 47, just, right now. You know, they just keep going. Hey, come on. Shoot, that's gonna are, be real. are you, how old are you? Chris, 47. I'm going to be 42. Holy shit. So 10 years bad. older than it's me. Disgusting. I'm a young stud, daddy. Yeah, I got lots of life to live. You close to death. You got a whole decade. You're 40. I'm not 40, yeah. bitch. By association. Since we're Why? Because I hang out with you no, old you got, fucks? You, you got real 40 energy. Yeah, you yeah. do. Because I, I hang out with you, you old fuckers? You I'm fucking 40, bitch? <laughs> Fuck out of here. When you're 40, you're not going to be having like dreams. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm 40, you guys are 50, it's going to be great. Oh, my oh God. God. Like, oh, I just fucking thinking about shit. Wow. Like just tying in. Just tying into my 40s. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we'll be like, yeah, I'm on my fucking 100-foot yacht. <laughs> Billionaire boy club. The <laughs> Jesse's like, I don't know, but my legs really hurt. My hips. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still blowing loads, and I'm anxious. Uh, uh, <laughs> and I'm still, yeah, I'm Can't still. Can't seem gonna, to I'll, shake that. I'm gonna still be creaming at three in the morning. Uh, it's still gonna, it's still gonna be happening, bro. I feel like we should troll the girl that said that because, like, it's not real. It's like the theme of this podcast. What's her name? I think her name's Carol. Her name is Caroline. I'm full of shit. This is not real. We've been going for an hour and 17 minutes. Hour 20. Let's go. Wrap it up. Oh, fuck All it. Right, All right. Piss. That's it. I got to pee too. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right. All right. I got to go home. Uh. <laughs>